Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pathfinder adventure card game scenario. We are with the character Drelm, and this is scenario 1.3. We're over at the Earthworks. We're at this location. On your check that has the electricity trait, remove any one die. Alright, so advancing the Blessings deck, it's a Blessing of the Ancients. And the first thing in uh, Drelm's hand, he has this Sands of Time. So we're going to go ahead and display this card next to your location. While displayed, we can add one die to checks by characters at this location to defeat Banes that have the Construct or Undead trait. And it's really cool because it lasts until the location is closed. So that's pretty awesome because it's going to go ahead and last for this entire scenario. So I'm pretty excited about that. And now we will explore. Okay, so we get a Acid Mantis. It does not have the Construct or Undead trait. It's a Trigger Vermin Acid Elite, Combat 9. We did not examine this card. It doesn't have the Electricity trait. Okay, so if the check to defeat has the Acid or Poison trait, add 3. Okay, our check does not. What we have in our hand is we are going to use our Kopish. So we're just going to go straight up, use the D10 plus D8. And we're adding three to this roll. All right, so we rolled four. That was a four. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We failed. But fortunately, we got that feather of Matt. Wow. So, so far, this campaign, this feather of Matt, has been really a uh, saving drum. So, it's kind of like a good luck charm. The acid mantis is banished. Uh, looking at our hand, we have to reset it, and we are good to go. Advancing the Blessings deck, it's a Blessing of Thoth. Okay, we get a Collapse in Scaffolding. It's an Obstacle Basic. So it says here, Dexterity Acrobatics Perception 4, then Dexterity Acrobatics Perception 7. So, what we're going to do here is Drum has, let's see if his ability here, on your check against a card that has the Obstacle trait you may add your divine skill. Okay, so this is an obstacle, so Drum has that option. It says here, if the result of the first check to defeat exceeds the result. So we're just going to make sure that it doesn't exceed the first result. So what we're going to do is for the first result, we are going to use the Blessing of the Ancients, because Drum, his dexterity, is a measly d6. So we're going to roll 2d6 for the first check, hope for the best. Wow, so we rolled a 5, 6. Okay, so we made it. But now we have to do another dexterity check. So we have to remember we rolled a 6 for that check. And for that check, we are going to use Drum's special power. So we're going to add his divine skill. So with that, it's going to be a d6 and a d8. But with this one, we get to add 3 to the roll. Uh, because his divine is wisdom plus 3. Okay, so rolling these... Okay, so we rolled a 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we failed that check. So, what happened is that if the result of the first check, which was a 6, uh, exceeds the result of the second check to defeat, which was another 6, so it doesn't. So you are dealt 1d4 combat damage, then recharge your hand and end your turn. So what, this, so what I'm reading is that we rolled a 6 and then we rolled another 6. So we did waste a blessing. We don't do this effect, but we did not defeat the collapsing scaffolding. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to then just have to uh, shuffle in the collapsing scaffolding. So interesting. I mean, uh, maybe Drelm came across some type of new construction over in the earthworks. Who knows? But I'm rolling a d10 to see. Okay, so we'll just uh, put that card on the top. Okay, yeah, I think I did that uh, according to the rules, but let me know in the comments. Uh, I uh, have to reset Drum's hand. We are advancing the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of the Elements. Okay, and we get Crocodile Skin Armor. Drum has a Constitution of D6. Alright, so we do acquire this uh, boon. Awesome. We're just going to toss it, and we are going to continue. So we're going to uh, advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Horus. We're going to explore. We get the Lightning Storm. Okay. So we have to display lots of Lightning Storms in this campaign so far. 
interesting. So the lightning storm, we just have to start uh, start your turn effect there. Drum's hand is fine. Advancing the blessings deck, we get a curse of vulnerability. So that's going to suck. So curse of vulnerability. Now I have to deal with the lightning storm. So we have to roll a d4 and see what happens. Okay, so we rolled a 2. And with the curse of vulnerability, we cannot reduce that damage. Which sucks because, well, we didn't have any armor anyway. So the Curse of Vulnerability gets banished. We have to take two points of damage. So I'll go ahead and I'll lose the Galvanic Chakra. Well, no, I want to keep that. Shucks. A lot of good cards. Okay, I'm losing an armor and a weapon. The Lightning Storm, we have to still meet that next turn. Okay, finally I'm done with that. Now we can explore. Hey, and it's back. Collapsing scaffolding. Okay, that really sucks. Well, we're going to try the same thing again. This time we have a blessing of the elements. We're going to roll 2d6. Alright, so we rolled a 5. And we needed a 4. Okay, so now we're going to use Drone's ability. To, so we rolled a 5 for the first check. Now his next ability is d6 and d8 plus 3. Alright, we rolled an 8, 9, 10, 11. So we rolled an 11 on that check. So we defeated both checks, and the first check did not exceed the second check. So we were successful that time. We got rid of the collapse and scaffolding. Okay, resetting Drum's hand. Advancing the Blessings deck. We have to roll for the Lightning Storm. Okay, and we did roll a 4, which is awesome. The Lightning Storm is banished. And now... It says here, technically, on a 4, banish this barrier. Okay, that's what we did. Cool. Alright, so there's that. Uh, now we can explore. Okay, we get Nebat. Charisma Diplomacy 6. And this is where it's hard being drowned because his charisma is abysmal. Just a straight up D6. Alright, so we rolled a 3. So, uh, no surprise, Nebat just leaves us says sorry. Drum has in his hand a blessing of Wajet. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to discard this card to examine the top card of our location deck. Then you may explore your location. Okay, so we're examining it. So now we may explore this location. And we might as well go ahead and explore it. Okay, so we didn't get a boon. Blessing of Wajet is discarded and we have a shock elemental. So he's immune to electricity. Mental and poison traits, all damage dealt is electricity damage. So if you play a weapon that does not have the bludgeoning trait, the difficulty to defeat is increased by two. Hmm. So then what we can do here, so we don't have any cards with the bludgeoning trait. Da da da. <laughs> okay. So basically, we are using this uh, Shotel. And what we want to do is shucks so it's going to be a plus so it's going to need an 11 and since it has the electricity trait and when the earth works we have to remove a die that's really going to suck so what we're going to do is we're going to use this shotel and we're using the crocodile skill skin, skin madu we can recharge this to add 1d4 to our check so we're doing that so we get to add assembling our dice we get to add a d4 then with this we're going to reveal this card to user strength or melee skill plus 1d6. So we're just going to reveal it. So we can do 1d6 plus the 1d10. And at the Earthworks, we have to remove any one die. So fortunately, we'll just remove the 1d6. So we get to roll these two dice. And we get to add 3 to the roll. Okay, let's hope for the best. Alright, so we rolled a 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow. So we didn't do it. Huh, shucks. So as it is, three, four, five, six, seven, eight was our final total. So we failed by three. That means we have to take three points of damage. So uh, Drum is discarding his entire, his entire hand, and it doesn't have the construct or undead trait. Okay, the shock elemental gets shuffled back into the deck. One, two, three, four. There's five cards left in the location deck. Okay, Drum's slowly running out of time here. So I'm going to roll a D5 to see 
uh, which card is on top. As it is, we'll just leave it alone. I have to reset Drum's hand. So, of course, the thing that really saves Drum is that his hand size is just five. Because as it is, he's almost dead. So we are now re uh, adv we are advancing the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of the Elements. Drum is hand now has a Cure spell. He's definitely going to use that. So we roll the four, so we get to recharge five cards from his discard pile. So one, two, three, four, shuffling up the discard pile over here. And we're going to recharge five cards, which is pretty awesome. One, two, three, four, five. So now we get to shuffle five cards back into his deck. So shuffling that. And now we are rolling to see if we recharge, if we recharge the cure spell. And we do. Okay. So Drown's feeling a lot healthier now. Uh, we already advanced the Blessings deck. We're going to explore. Okay, we get a Filter Hood. Uh, Constitution Fortitude 4. Or a cr Intelligence Craft. Well, Drum has a Craft. No, he does not have Craft. He has Disabler Divine. Okay, just a straight up Constitution check. Alright, we rolled a 6. We get it. It goes in our hand. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Uh, looking at that. We're going to use the Scared of Buckler. We're going to bury it to shuffle 1d4 plus 1 random cards into our deck. And we rolled a 4. So we get to uh, get 5 cards. And we had a total of 4 cards in our discard pile. So that's awesome because the cards in our discard pile were weapons. So Drelm is now getting all of his stuff, his, uh, he's completely healed, which is pretty cool. So now the question is, is do we want to explore? Uh, as it is, he just has a family clansman. Hmm. Do we want to explore? That's the question. And we will. Okay, we get the shock elemental. Uh, he's immune to electricity. So we're not playing a weapon because we don't have any. This is going to be a straight up melee check and we're going to be using a blessing of the elements to do another d10 uh, and hmm, it doesn't have the trigger trait so as it is we're just going to do a straight up d10 let me find a different d10 that likes us I'll use I'll roll this one and that's all I got it's going to be d10 plus three and we need a nine all right so I rolled a five six seven eight okay so we fail by one it does electricity damage. Uh, we can reveal this card to reduce electricity damage by one. So we'll just reveal the filter hood. Uh, Shock Elemental gets shuffled back into the deck. One, two, three, four. There's four cards in this location deck. We're going to see which one's on top. It's the fourth card. Okay. Now what we're going to do is reset Drum's hand. Okay, he gets a weapon. That's what he wants. He's got two weapons. Advancing the Blessings deck. Exploring. Okay, we have a Staff of Minor Healing. Okay, so what we're going to do, it's a Wisdom Divine. Okay, this is cool. Drelm has a Divine of Wisdom plus 3. Rolling a D8. Alright, we rolled a 4. So 4, 5, 6, 7. That's exactly what we needed. So we can recharge this card and choose a character at your location to recharge a random card from his discard pile. Cool, we're going to do that because the only card in our discard pile is the blessing of the elements so we get that back and now we are going to look at drum's hand we like it we'll keep it we're going to advance the blessings deck it's a blessing of the elements we are exploring we get uh, Marianix Karn so charisma diplomacy 9 uh, da -da -da -da. so what we need drum only has a D uh, Dix he has a charisma of D6 Ouch. Well, he rolled a six. And what we could do, see, this is interesting. We could have used a, we can use the Tablet of Lost Languages to add two, but that's still not going to be enough. So she goes away. She doesn't want anything to do with Drone. And as it is, we're kind of running out of time. There's only one card left in the, there's only one card left in the Blessings deck. So I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use the Fomit Clansman. We're going to discard this card to explore your location. If the top card of the Blessings deck 
is the blessing of the ancients. Well, it's a blessing of the elements. Okay, finally, Klansman is going. We're exploring. Hey, we get the villain. Okay, Drell might be in luck here. So it says here, so we still have this Sands of Time, and it is a construct, so we can uh, add one die to check spike characters at this location to defeat Banes at the construct trait. Awesome. So we did not examine this card because we were doing the Pomet Clansman exploration. So now it's uh, check to defeat. Dexterity, Acrobatics, Disable, Intelligence. Drelm has Disable of D8 plus 2. With the Sands of Time, we get an additional D8. And anything else we got for us? We do have Drelm's special power. It says here, on your checks against a card that has the obstacle, and it's not an obstacle or trap trait, we can add our divine skill. Well, that is simply amazing because our divine is D8. And we can add plus three to that roll. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove one of these D8, but we still get to add two D8, and we get to add three to our roll. And we re need to roll. Actually, we get to roll... Yeah, because we're doing we're doing a disable check. So the disable has a plus two modifier and the divine has a plus three. We're actually adding five to this roll. And look at that. Eight and five. Boom. So we have defeated the trapped sarcophagus. A lot of that was uh due to this really cool nifty spell. Uh I don't need to roll to see if we recharge that spell. Because as it is, Drum had pretty much a full deck of health. Thanks to the Scare Buckler and the Cure spell. That Shock Elemental gave him a little run for his money. But as it is, the Trapped Sarcophagus, we figured out how to destroy it. The end of the, the location is closed. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, pan out here. And we're going to go ahead and do a deck check. And, we'll, we, we, and we will talk about the rewards of the scenario. So here's uh, Drum's deck here, Tablet of the Lost Languages, weapons go up there. The He gained a filter hood, that stands at time. So he did acquire a lot of interesting boons. Uh, of course, uh, wasn't able to get some of those allies uh, because of his low charisma. But here is the state of Drum's deck right now. Here's what he's got. He's got a lot of good stuff. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and see what the reward for the scenario was. The reward was a skill feat. And not only did we get the skill feat, but we got this thing of loot. So we gained da, 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 possibly one of the best loots in the game. The Ankh Temptin. I don't I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. But we gained that as loot. And we get a skill feat. So this is exciting. So we did we did decide let me zoom in here. Okay, we decided to go ahead and uh buff up Drelm's strength just to make him a tank. He only has a plus one buff for the charisma. I mean that might be helpful in the long run. But I think we're gonna just buff up the strength. Maybe we'll do charisma at a later date. But let's go ahead and just make him a tank. So he's got plus two now. And now, what we can do is Drum can go visit a trader. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, Smiths of Wati. Uh, pan back out here. Smiths of Wati. Let's see what kind of weapons they got for Drum. Drum's always interested in some cool weapons. I mean, yeah, we'll just go the weapon route. I mean, armor. He's got all these great armor options now. I mean, he likes his spells. I mean, he's not really... There's no spells that buff up his charisma or diplomacy, so that kind of sucks. So Smiths of Wate are offering a Kurkuri, a Chakram, whoa, and the Fire Lance. Look at that. That is really sweet. Firearm range, piercing, two-handed, alchemical, elite. For your combat check, bury this card to roll 2d12. Uh, for your combat check, banish this card to roll 4d8. I mean, that's cool. I mean, Drelm doesn't really need it. He's definitely not taking the Chakram or the Kukuri. 
So it's interesting. Smith Sawadi says, hey, you want this freelance? Drum says, I don't know. So, I mean, I have that option. If I did take it, I would probably have to get rid of the Galvanic Chakram. But I really like this because if proficient with weapons, discard, discard to ignore a non-villain monster's power that happens before you act. But we already have that now with the Anketep's armor. We can recharge this card to ignore a non-villain Bane's power that happens before you act. But what if we had, like, both of these things, right? I mean, we'd always have that option. So that's actually a pretty powerful combo right there. I mean, we'd, we'd be really protected against before you act villain abilities or Bane abilities. So right now, I don't know what uh, my choice is going to be. I'll think about it. And I'll let you guys know uh, before I start the next scenario or it'll just come up and play. So, thanks for watching. A uh, pretty exciting adventure there. I really like all uh, the pairings with the uh, those uh, electricity traits showing up at the earthworks. That was pretty challenging. So, I uh, will have another scenario for you shortly. Uh, thanks for watching.